I don't know what to really call this, <laughs> but we're gonna call this uh, North South to a Transition Choke. Um, this is me, Dotcom, rocking out here at Fight Science Gym. Uh, what we're gonna do from this technique, it's gonna start from North South, of course. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that his arms are underneath mine, right here. The reason why is because usually when people try to escape, they have to do two things. They try to buck out from here, or they try to body lock, trying to twist out. So I prefer that person does a body lock because it's a perfect setup for this. So instead of just turning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to reach it over my arm as if it's like an overhook, I'm going to go right to a person's neck. As I do that, I'm going to place my hand on this hip, okay, and I'm going to turn, causing tremendous pressure on his neck. In order to finish the choke off for the, you know, for the sake of, for the sake of self, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opposite hand, not the one in the middle, bring it across. And I'm going to lock it right here, and I'm just going to lean towards the shoulder. And if you put on enough pressure, if you put enough pressure, he's going to tap. And what's so good about this technique is that if he tries to roll one way, he's going to get choked. If he tries to roll to the opposite, he can't really do much. And that hand right here is still trapped. So that's one reason why I like it. So this is my technique, guys. I hope you enjoy it.